Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Mateo Blanco here. I always start with the intro the same way, saying it's been a while, but like, I feel like I always take like a little one month hiatus. I mean, I was in London for one entire month. I've been to London five times already, so I really can't vlog or show you anything. As you can see by the title, I'm in Rome, Italy. I'm like dying to get through this little intro because I have like a bunch of McDonald's in front of me. It would have been a good idea to do it for YouTube as well, but for like all my close friends on Instagram, I'm like seeing how different McDonald's tastes in every European country. I guess I'll show you like a little bit of what I'm eating. So this is what I'm eating. I know it looks like a lot since I am alone. I just had you guys there. That, I'm not like a big eater. I don't have big taste buds. I eat a portion. I don't know. Am I the only one that does that? And then we have a cheesecake. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat right now. Italy, which I've been dying to come here for like a long time, except either my friends have a nine to five and they can't ask for the days off, or I have other friends who just can't do like last minute travels and can't like afford it or have to make like a budget and like just need to know in advance, which I completely understand. I'm like the crazy one out here that's booking stuff like the day before. If I keep having to wait for people, I'm never gonna be able to see Rome, which has the Colosseums. So here's another vlog of one of the seven world wonders. So I'm finally gonna get to see this one. I flew straight in from Paris. I was in Paris for maybe three or four days and I didn't vlog for you either because see this is why I hate that I'm starting YouTube so late because I already traveled and did like a bunch of my like Egypt stuff and like all the cool stuff that I think are cool yeah I didn't vlog Paris at all so I was in London for one entire month then I went to Paris for a couple of days I went on the damn train can you believe that and then I came straight here and I have another city that I'm gonna hit right after this trip but I don't want to say the name yet in case i don't end up going that'll be just a secret that only my instagram will know i traveled all day i actually didn't eat all day so maybe that's why i even look tired a little bit i mean i feel like i sound tired like i i just honestly want to go to sleep but yeah let's get through this night one in rome i should be out eating but i couldn't be bothered i just want my bed and i want food and i'll take you with me tomorrow when i don't look like i literally just woke up i mean i just got out of the shower that's my hair split so see you guys in the morning oh wait no that's my outro see you guys in the morning Good morning everyone it's clearly the next morning i'm baking my face right now i'm getting ready to go to the vatican which i knew it existed already in rome but i didn't really care about it and then i remember that it was on twilight like the movie And then I was like, oh. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check that out right now. But in the meantime, while I'm baking my face, which is why I'm so white right now, let me give you a little Airbnb tour. Excuse the mess, I didn't bother doing the bed because I, honestly, I really don't care if you guys see it like this or not. And I'm in a hurry, so I'm not gonna do the bed. But yes, this is the bedroom. My outfit for the Vatican, I'm trying to keep it all white, all clear, all pure. My vitamins, this, whatever, dry pod. This is the bathroom, very little spaced out, but I mean, it was like the closest to like wherever I'm going. As you see, I still have like everything just put on there because I was in a hurry last night. I had stuff to do. Here is the kitchen. I actually spend a lot of time in the kitchen, believe it or not. Then here is where the living area, I guess. And there is a cute little balcony. Not the best view, but good morning, Rome.
what a day, what a day. I'm back from my tour and I am exhausted. I literally wish I could have given you a better tour of Italy, but my situation was that I actually care about Roman history, so I booked a private tour. So it was just me and the guide because I actually want to learn more history. Point being is that I booked a short trip because I thought it was pretty much just the Colosseum. I wasn't aware about like the forum, I wasn't aware about I knew the Vatican was here, but I didn't really care for it. Up until I remembered that Twilight was filmed there. I think it was the New Moon one, where like they have to go to like the Vatican to like, I guess, sacrifice Edward or something like that. Yeah, once I got there, I told the girl, I was like, oh yeah, like I wasn't planning on coming to the Vatican until I remember that like Twilight was filmed here. And she looked at me like, what? And I was like, yeah, this movie, apparently it wasn't filmed at the Vatican. Apparently it was filmed like in another Italian city. So I was just like, Oh. Obviously, I know Roman history, I know Roman everything. I just didn't know there were that many tourist attractions that I actually missed. So basically, I got here yesterday at 4 p.m. I checked in. I instantly had to start getting ready, do my makeup, do my hair, because I had work to do. And then I had to unpack everything. So by the time I was actually done in bed, it was like one in the morning. So I was like, I don't really care because I only have to see the Colosseum and like, that's it. And I wake up and I went to the Vatican where Twilight was filmed. And then I found out about like all these other attractions, like the Forum, the Trevi Fountain, the actual Vatican Museum, all these basilicas. I don't know, there was like just like a hundred more things that I completely missed. And you probably already saw the photos um, on my Instagram by the time that this YouTube video is out. Oh, you know, just uploading late by one month. No biggie. So yeah, I did the Vatican and then I came straight back to my room literally just to eat and call me extra but to change because I didn't want the same outfit at a different location. I went to the Coliseum after and oh my gosh, it was packed but it's actually pretty easy to like get around here and people are actually a lot nicer here than France but I think we all know that. I was like looking at the whole Coliseum and I was just taking it in like my tour guide at some point was just quiet because she was just waiting for me and I was like so staring at everything like I can't believe I'm here. Another wonder of the world that I like conquered. I mean, that's pretty cool. We did pictures and it was pretty cute because you know me, I really don't care about what anyone says. So I was just like doing all my poses. I was like, mm, like whatever, laying down, going like this, like and all that stuff. And everyone was just like recording me doing my thing. Yeah, I mean, I got the job done. Someone literally came out to me and they, they're like, oh, aren't you from like that one show? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah. And she was actually really sweet. She just took a picture and yeah so this so i'm sorry i am not like sad or depressed or anything i'm just really really tired and my eyes are probably bloodshot in this video i just got back now i have to pack everything already so i've only been here for two days i'm leaving tomorrow and it's pouring rain right now so hopefully that doesn't affect my flight tomorrow because i am well i guess i could tell you guys because i mean it, I already booked it and I already have my visa approved. Then I also have my hotel approved already, so everything's paid for. So it's not like it's gonna be a secret. Well, by the time this video comes out, you guys are gonna know if you follow me on Instagram. So follow me there. I'm going to Saudi Arabia, Riyadh. <laughs> I want to keep it brief because this video was literally just Rome. The whole point of going to Saudi Arabia is just to show the world that like you can go as an LGBT person. And I know there's people who are just like, oh, I just don't want to give them my money if they're not going to be like supportive of like the LGBT or like whatever. But if I can travel, then so can you. I said it on a video before, but if I look like this, I'm wearing like blonde hair. I'm carrying like makeup. Obviously, I'm not gonna put it on over there. Like precautions, respect the tradition, respect the culture. But I've been like on a European tour for like two months now. So sorry guys, I'm literally that tired. I can't even like, I'm not even gonna redo this. I'm just gonna show you guys me stretching. If you wanna see if I did end up going, then just go check my Instagram because the picture should be up. And then if the pictures aren't up, I wasn't allowed to enter. So wish me luck. But anyways, I'm back to speaking about Italy because this is an Italy vlog. So I didn't really get to record anything because it was a private tour and I was genuinely interested in everything. I literally only got like that little amount of footage that I put in this 
video, which I'm a little bit annoyed about because this was supposed to be like a part of the seven world wonders that I'm trying to achieve. And I have two more to go. So there's like some similarities to Spanish and Italian. So I could kind of understand what they would say. And then I also, I can't even give you like a food review because I didn't eat anything besides. Well, I did eat at an Italian restaurant, but <laughs> I did order a burger again. So yeah, I just ate twice during the last two days. I love Italy, I need to return. I want to hit Milan, the Amalfi Coast. And God, people keep freaking texting me. I'm like, aren't you on the other side of the world right now? Like, what are you doing? I need a damn assistant at this point. I'm way too tired, I did so much today. Yeah, I give Italy a 10 out of 10, or should I say Rome, because I've never been to anywhere else besides Rome in Italy. So I'll be back and I'll keep you guys posted with another vlog. It's just probably gonna be my most extreme vlog because like this is Saudi Arabia baby. Like this is some wild stuff. Like this is as wild as it can get, which I think is what makes me want to go. But again, I won't explain it in this vlog because this is Rome. Catch you guys in the Middle East. Bye guys.